how alternators work, a detailed explanation of the inner workings of alternators, including the stator, rotor, and rectifier. An alternator is an electromechanical device that converts mechanical energy into alternating current, AC, electrical energy. It is typically driven by a belt connected to the engine's crankshaft. The alternator's main function is to charge the battery and power the electrical system of a vehicle while the engine is running. The alternator consists of two main components, the stator and the rotor. The stator is a stationary part of the alternator that consists of a set of wire coils wound around the central core. The rotor is a rotating part of the alternator that is mounted on the same shaft as the stator. It consists of a magnet or a set of electromagnets. As the rotor spins inside the stator, the alternating magnetic field produced by the rotor cuts through the wire coils of the stator, inducing an alternating current, AC, in the coils. The AC current produced by the stator is then rectified by a rectifier, which is a set of diodes that convert the AC current into direct current, DC current. The DC current can then be used to charge the battery and power the vehicle's electrical system. The rotor of an alternator is typically made of a magnet or a set of electromagnets. In some alternators, the rotor is a permanent magnet made of materials such as iron, cobalt, or neodymium. In other alternators, the rotor is an electromagnet made of a coil of wire that is supplied with electrical current from the alternator's own output. As the rotor spins inside the stator, the alternating magnetic field produced by the rotor cuts through the wire coils of the stator, inducing an alternating current, AC, in the coils. The magnitude of the induced AC current depends on the strength of the magnetic field, the number of wire coils in the stator, and the speed at which the rotor is spinning. The AC current produced by the stator is then rectified by a rectifier, which is a set of diodes that convert the AC current into direct current, DC current. The rectifier typically consists of six diodes arranged in two sets of three diodes connected in a bridge configuration. The diodes allow current to flow in only one direction, converting the alternating current produced by the stator into direct current. In an alternator, the slip ring is a ring-shaped conductor that is attached to the rotor. It is used to transmit electrical power from the stator to the rotor, and vice versa. The slip ring is typically made of a conductive material such as copper or brass and is coated with a layer of insulation to prevent electrical short circuits. The slip ring is connected to the stator through a set of brushes, which are small, spring-loaded pads made of a conductive material such as carbon. The brushes are held in contact with the slip ring by a brush holder and are connected to the stator through a set of wire leads. As the rotor rotates, the brushes maintain contact with the slip ring, allowing electrical power to flow from the stator to the rotor and vice versa. The alternator's pulley is a wheel-like device that is attached to the alternator shaft. It is used to transmit mechanical power from the engine to the alternator. The pulley is typically made of a hard, where resistant material such as aluminum or steel and is connected to the engine through a belt. As the engine runs the pulley turns, causing the alternator's rotor to spin and generate electricity. An alternator regulator is a device that controls the output of an alternator. It is used to maintain a constant voltage level in the alternator's output, and prevent the voltage from getting too high or too low. The alternator regulator is typically an electronic device that consists of a microprocessor, a set of transistors, and a set of diodes. The alternator regulator monitors the voltage level of the alternator's output using a set of sensors and compares it to a reference voltage level. If the voltage level is too high, the regulator reduces the current flowing through the stator windings by turning off some of the transistors in the stator circuit. If the voltage level is too low, the regulator increases the current flowing through the stator windings by turning on more transistors in the stator circuit. The alternator regulator is typically mounted on the alternator itself or on the vehicle's electrical system. It is connected to the alternator through a set of wires and is typically controlled by the vehicle's engine control module, ECM.